All right, from legalizing marijuana to taxing vacation rentals, the Hawaii legislature wrapped up the 2019 session today. Nikki Shenfield tells us which bills passed and which ones could be brought up again next session. Lawmakers introduced more than 3,000 bills this session. It's been a, a different um, session for us. I'd like to describe it as a smooth session with some bumps along the way. Notable bills that passed include reducing penalties for possessing small amounts of marijuana and requiring vacation rentals to collect taxes from hosts. The bills will now go to the governor's desk. And, you know, I am concerned, and I've, as I've talked with governors from other states who have gone to recreational, you know, people assume that once it becomes recreational or decriminalized that it's legal, and it's not legal by federal law. And I think that that um, becomes the confusion, and that's always been my concern. As for vacation rentals, Senator English says he hopes counties will make a choice on whether to enforce them or not. We have held off for about five years, uh, maybe more, uh, on passing legislation to collect taxes, waiting for the counties to establish whether or not they're legal or illegal. We simply could not wait any longer. Although raising the minimum wage didn't pass this session, the House says they'll push for it again. All mail voting and automatic recounts with narrow victory margins also passed. Governor Ige has until June 24th to notify lawmakers if he intends to veto any of the bills. He has until July 9th to sign, veto, or pass the bills into law without his signature. Nikki Schoenfeld, KHON2 News. All right, back to the Big 